Hello there, my name is Emma Snedden and I wanted to explain to you today a little bit about the UK compensation plan. So what I'm not going to cover today is anything about the bonus plan, but what, just to help you understand a little bit about how you get paid. So before I go into any more detail, what I want to explain to you is I don't want you to get bogged down in the nitty gritty of this. It really isn't important. That's what the company are there for is to work out what you should get paid and they pay you on the 10th of every month. And the most important thing to remember is that we get paid for customers and we get paid when our team members bring in customers also. So when I was learning about the business right at the very beginning, that's what I was taught was bring in customers, bring in team members, do both of those things consistently and teach your team members to consistently bring in customers and you can earn a fortune and you can help other people to do the same. So I'll repeat that, bring in customers consistently, bring in team members consistently who, who have their own customers and you, that's how you'll get paid, that's how you can make money in this business. We get paid on our customers, we get paid on our own customers and we get paid on our team members customers. So that's the top and bottom of it and really that's the most important thing that I want you to understand. You don't need to worry about all the other stuff. However, I am aware that it's important that you understand a little bit about how you get paid so that when your team members ask you or other people ask you, you can at least explain it. So what I'm going to do is two things. Um, one is just draw on the flip chart, which I've got behind me, a little bit to just help you understand how we get paid so you can explain it very simply to somebody else. And then I'm going to flip over to screen share and I'm going to share the one pager that is on your online office. You can go and have a look at the basics on your online office, UK compensation plan, and you can have a look on there and I'll explain as much as I understand of it, how you get paid and how it works out. Now, I'm going to say up front, I'll tell you as much as I know, um, and it's never held me back, the fact that I don't totally understand it, but I think it's important that you have a little bit of knowledge. If you've got any questions, the place to contact is either your upline or the office directly and ask them any specific questions, but I'll certainly do my best to help you um, to get a little bit of an understanding. So let me flip over here for one second. I've got my little flip chart here. So this is one thing that I want to draw out on here for you. Happy to understand how the company pays and why the company pays for the meeting. So here, over here, I'll just check that you can see that is the company. Okay, here's us. and here is you. Now you decide to join the business and you go out and you bring in, let's say, for example, five of your friends and family, six in that example to buy the product from you or through you, okay? And the company pays you for that. Well done, thank you very much, because of, because of you and your recommendation, this person, these people have bought the product and the company pays you a commission for that. So I'll go into the amounts in a minute. So let's say your friend, Bob, loves the product as much as you do. Bob decides, but he wants to start up his own franchise as well, same way that you have. So Bob has some friends, he goes and shares the product with his friends, with his colleagues, etc. And he brings in his own customer base. Okay, same way that you do. The company, the Juice Plus company, pays Bob a commission for those customers. They say, thank you, well done, because of you, those customers have bought the Juice Plus product from us. But they also pay you a percentage as well, for the customers that Bob has brought in, because without you and the original recommendation, Bob would not have joined the business and those customers would not have bought the product from Bob. So you get like a thank you bonus as well. Okay? And then so on. So let's say Bob has a friend, Ian. Ian, same as you and Bob, loved the products, was recommending them to his friends and family, so decided to get involved in the business. So Ian joined the business, brought out his own franchise through Bob as well. Ian has his own friends. He then goes on to share the product with these people and they buy the product. And the company pays Ian for those customers. Thank you very much, Ian, because of you, those people bought the product. But they also pay Bob for those customers because without Bob, these people would never have bought the product. And they also pay you for these customers that Ian has brought in because you were the person who introduced Bob, who introduced Ian. And without you, originally, these customers would not have bought the product from Ian. So they're Ian's customers, but Bob gets a percentage of the commission and you get a percentage of the commission. And so on. There's Phil. Phil's a customer of Ian's, loves the product, brings them some customers. Company pays Phil, company pays Ian, company pays Bob. 
and the company pays you, and so on. And remember, all of this time, you are still bringing in your own customers, Bob is still bringing in his customers, Ian, and so on. Okay, and other people are joining and bringing in their customers too. And you get paid a percentage on all of those because without you, none of these people would have bought the product because you originally introduced these people and Bob and so on. And the company says thank you for that. So hopefully that makes sense in terms of why and how the company pay you. It's word of mouth referral marketing. And without you, these people would not have joined and shared the product with their friends and family. So it's really, really simple. I think it makes totally really good sense. So that's the first part that I wanted to explain to you. We should have the second part make a little bit more sense. Now, I'm just going to screen share, hopefully. Let me just try this. There we go. Okay, hopefully you can see that. So this is a one pager, which is your on your online office under basics, which is covers the UK compensation plan. So whichever country you're building your business in, you'll be able to go to basics and it will open up the country, excuse me, that you're in or that you're looking to build in. And the compensation plan should be relatively easy to understand from there. So what I'm going to do, we can see here along the top, we have the positions. Franchise partner, which is when you first join, direct distributor, senior direct distributor, sales coordinator, senior sales coordinator, and so on, right up to PMD. Okay, and down the side here, we have retail sales profit, which is the percentage of the RSP that you make at the beginning, or all the way through, in fact. Team bonus, performance bonus, which is also known as PB, promote out bonus, which is known as POB. Expenses, which is something which you start to earn from SSC, and then insurance, which is something that you start to earn from NMD. So as I said, what I'm not going to do is um, cover the bonus plan at the moment, which is down at the bottom, but there's a separate video that will cover that. Okay, so when you very, very first joined the business, so back to our example, when you originally joined the business, you make, as a franchise partner, 10% commission on any orders that you place directly. So on your own customers, you will make 10% commission on those orders. When you get to DD, so when you qualify as a direct distributor, one thing that is worth noting is that the official promotion takes place at the end of the month. So whilst you might get promoted on the second or third or fourth of the month, officially you're promoted, is that your promotion is, at the, is the last day of the calendar month. So once you get to DD, you also continue to earn 10% commission, but you also earn an additional 4% on your own volume. So you learn, on, on, when you bring a customer in, you learn 10% plus 4% on that customer. You'll also earn 4% on any volume of any franchise partner who's in your team. Okay? So you earn 10% plus 4% on any orders that you put through yourself. And then you earn, you earn excuse me, 4% on any volume of the franchise partner underneath you. So, after that, when you get promoted to senior direct distributor, this is when we start to need what's called performance bonus. Again, that promotion officially takes place at the end of the month. So again, and really the way to remember these is that they just add on to each other. Okay, so you always earn 10% on your own customers. And then you add, you add, as you get further up the business, you get additional increments on top of that. So at SDD, the RSP that you get paid out is 10% of the sales value of the product that you put through. But then you also get an additional 4% because you are a DD, and then an additional 3% because you are now an SDD. So you get 10% plus 4% plus 3%. So effectively, it's like 17%, but when you look on your earnings summary, you will see it as 10% plus 3%. Sorry, plus 4% plus 3%. You also get paid out 3% on the volume of any DD in your team. So anybody underneath you who's a direct distributor. And you also get paid out 7% on the volume of anybody who is a franchise partner. So someone who's not yet reached DD. But, and this is a bit of a but, right? Once you get to SDD, you need, to, in order to unlock the payment on your downline, you need to hit what's called performance bonus, which is 1,250 PV points, which is between you and your dealers and direct. So anybody underneath you 
plus who is a dealer or a direct, excuse me, plus yourself. And once that adds up to 1,250, you unlock the payments on your downline. And this is how the payments then work out. So on your first generation, so the person who's directly under you, you earn 2% on those people. On the second generation, so the person who's underneath someone who's under you, you earn 3%, and so on. So as long as you have unlocked your PB, your performance bonus, the reason why we talk about that and why it's so important is because that unlocks the payment on your downline, on your people in your first, second, third, and fourth generation. So you need to earn 1,000, you need to um, accumulate 1,250 that you are then a club officially, and you also have um, an unlock the payments of anybody that's in your team up to a certain level. But at that point, you're still not eligible for what's called promote out bonus, but you are eligible for all the payments down into your, depending on how wide you are. So you need to be, to get paid four levels deep, you need to be four levels um, wide, if that makes sense. So you need to have, you always get paid down to level three, but until you are four PB legs wide or five PB legs wide, you'll only ever get paid down to three. So it's really important always that you go wide, that you focus on building width and depth in your business. Width and depth in your business will, will unlock all these different pockets of money underneath you and your team. So that's why we always talk about the importance of width and depth, because width and depth unlocks different levels of money. So um, when you get then promoted to sales coordinator, you get paid still 10% on your own orders. So that always stays the same, 10% on your own orders. But you also get an additional 4%, plus 3%, plus now another 3% on your own volume, because you are now a sales coordinator. So if you can see how it adds up. First of all, you get 10%. Then when you get to DD, you get an additional four. When you get to SDD, you get an additional three. And when you get to SD, you get another additional three. So it's four, 10 plus four plus three plus three at SC level on your own volume. Similarly, on your downline, so on your, any on your franchise partners or people who are not yet a dealer, you get paid 10% plus 4% plus 3% plus 3% of their volume as well because there isn't anybody who's an SDD between you and them. You get paid 6%, so 3% plus 3% on the volume of anyone who's a DD in your business. And then you get 3% on the volume of an SDD in your business. So the reason for that is because the company always pays out 37% on every order. So all you need to remember is A, somebody always gets paid. So when somebody who is, for example, six generations down from you places an order, if everybody above you, above them, qualifies to be paid out on that order, then you wouldn't earn anything because you're too far up that ladder. But if somebody in the middle of that doesn't, it doesn't qualify for a payment for whatever reason, then that money would then, the company would just look up and up and up and they'll find somebody to pay and that might then come up to you. So I'll throw that out on the board in a minute because it might make a little bit more sense when you see it. But the most important thing to remember is that the further up the ladder that you go, the more commission you earn on your own products, on your own orders, sorry, on your own customers. So by the time you get a sales coordinator, you're earning quite a lot of commission on your own orders versus when you first start the payments on your generations down from you stay the same so at sc you get paid down to level four if you're four wide and you get paid two percent on your first generation and then three percent on any generation below that and then as you can see without going into massive detail the rest of them ssc and um up to qnmd stay the same up to qnmd you unlock them the fifth generation as long as you are five generations wide so five PB legs wide. So as soon as you're five PB legs wide and QNMD, you unlock another level of commission on the people who are five levels down from you. And that stays the same right the way up to PMD. The only other thing that um, I need to make you aware of is promote out bonus. Promote out bonus kicks in when you get to sales coordinator. And it's what's called, um, you need to, well, to qualify for it, you need to do 3,750 of open volume. So that means any that's volume that doesn't qualify under any of the other levels. So it's called open volume. And um, to, to qualify for the open volume, if you hit that, if you hit your 3,750, it will tell you on the front page of your office. If you have a look on the front page of your office, it's between you 
your dealers, direct and SDDs, pretty much. Uh, there are some slight variations in that and complications, but I don't want to go into massive detail. But keep an eye on the front page of your office. It will tell you what your POV is. And you can see that it's only relevant for you if you're an SD or above. And as long as it's 3750 or over, then you qualify for promote our bonus, which unlocks an additional 3% payment on any open volume that you have beneath you. So that's any volume, whether it's in somebody who's already an SD between you and that volume. Um, the reason for POB is really to encourage you to um, promote people through your business because when you get promotion, people's promoted through your business, it unlocks that additional 3% payment. Um, I also want to make you aware well, a little bit here of the expenses just because they're there. So when you get to SSC, you do unlock um, an opportunity to earn expenses. It's split out for you there so you can see how much you can earn and where it comes from. When it says 2PB, 3PB and 4PB down here on the left hand side, that means how many legs you have qualifying beneath you. So if you are 2PB legs wide, so you've got yourself and two others who are PB legs for you, then you'll unlock, for example, under this thing here, SSC, you'll unlock some, a maximum of 5% of your pay line at a maximum of £400. When you are 3PB legs wide, as an SSE, you could unlock 10% up to a maximum of £400. If you look along here, when you get to NMD, you can unlock 10% up to a maximum of £1,600 and so on. So hopefully that makes sense, but I just wanted to let you know that it's there. That expenses is to be used for things like hotel room bookings, flights, conferences, maybe incentives for your team. Um, so that's what the money is there for, it's to invest back in your business and to enable you to build more width and more depth over time. So I'm hoping that that makes sense. What I want to do is just draw out for you a little bit at the end here of what I was talking about earlier, which is about how the levels that you get paid on, and then hopefully that will make a little bit more sense for you. So let me just do this here. And what I'll do is just unshare the screen so you can see it's a bit bigger. Here we go. Okay, so this is what I want to explain to you just as the last thing. So here is you, okay? Now, as I said, you needed to be, for example, you need to have two PB legs or three PB legs to start unlocking your expenses. Now, here is, let's say you have one, two, three, four legs currently, okay? So there are four separate legs in your business that you need to build. So four people that you brought in or have come up front line for you. So we'll call them A, B, C, and D for now, all right? Now, in order for this to be a qualifying leg for you, okay, it needs to have, this leg needs to be worth 1,250. And then it will be the points, and then it will be a qualifying leg. Okay, as long as somebody in this business is qualifying, that's what's called a qualifying leg for you. Now, what I want to just show you if I look, is it F, G, right? Now, as long as these are SDD legs, let's say, for example, right, that's an SDD leg, that's an SDD leg, this is a DD leg, and this is a QNMD leg. Currently, for you, this does not count as a qualifying leg because there's nobody in that leg who's an STD or above. If this leg Brindle builds in, somebody here who qualifies as an STD, it doesn't matter that the person directly under you isn't. That will then be a qualifying leg for you as long as this person does their 1250. Okay? So they have to be STD anywhere in that leg and they have to be have a qualifying business in order to make that a qualified for you. An SDD or above doing 12.50 is one club. A couple of clubs on a different uh, video, but that's the gist of it. So the final thing I want to go back to, go back to this leg here, okay? So you've got a leg here, it's very deep, for example. Now, we get paid five levels deep, okay? We get paid on five levels. Not five generations, which is a common misconception. It's actually five levels. So what I mean by that, let's say this is, this is the generations. You've got your first generation, your second generation, your third generation, your four, six, six, and seven. Okay, so you brought in person A, and it goes right down to your seventh generation, which is person G. So in this example, if everybody's hitting and everybody's qualifying, let's say when F, person F gets a customer. 
somebody always gets paid. So F gets paid. And then the company looks up and says, who else qualifies for a payment based on everything that I've just said? Are they qualifying for business? Have they got, are they doing their 12.50? Or are they new and then they don't need to do their 12.50? So all the things that we just covered, the company will look up and there's one, two, three, four, five, if everybody here is qualifying, then everybody will get paid, okay? But let's say, for example, that person C doesn't qualify that month or isn't active. Sometimes people just aren't active and they just kind of sit in their in your generations and that's fine. But what happens is, the company will say one, two, and they will skip this person because they're not qualifying or they're not active, so therefore they don't get paid on X order. And they'll keep going up and they'll pay this person here. Okay, so they'll always pay out the, the people that need to be paid on that order. So person's X order, depending on who's qualifying above them, that will decide who gets paid, but somebody always gets paid on every order. And so that, hopefully you can start to see the importance of width and depth. And the importance also, a great piece of advice that I was given, um, was to work, you know, dig for gold in your business. So once your business gets deep and wide, why do you want to be going out like this all the time? And down like this, right? And don't forget, these people are all building as well, and you get paid on all of that too, right? If you can look down in your business and realize that person here, who is one, two, three levels down from you potentially, has an amazing business, is really active, is very passionate, very teachable, you might want to go and work with this person. Because ultimately, over time, these two people might not stick around. And then eventually, that person will come up and be frontline to you. Now, I know that's a little bit complicated, but all I want you to remember is bring in customers. Bring in team members consistently over time. Bring in customers, bring in team members who have customers. There's no point in just bringing in team members. If we, do, we don't get paid in our business, we do not get paid on distributors. We get paid on customers of distributors. So it's really important that you bring people in and you teach them how to build a customer base. And that is what will pay you over time. I really hope that that helps. I'm, I'm aware you probably, the first time you watched it, you'll probably be scratching your head and really confused. Don't worry about it right you do not need to know the ins and outs of this mark of this commission plan you just need to know that it's there if you sit down and want to spend some time working it out you can do that or you can go out and talk to some more people bring in some more customers bring in some more team members and just not worry about all that stuff just go wide go deep teach other people to do the same build a customer base build a team and let all of that stuff sort itself out. That's what I did, that's what I've always done. I went away and looked at it, learned a little bit about it, but I don't spend any time really on these numbers. Not massively. I know that I've hit PB, I know that I teach my team to hit PB, and that as long as you are not PB and POB over time, you will get paid exactly what you should be paid by the company. I hope that helps. Thank you very much for sticking with me. I apologise in advance if I have got anything wrong. That's my understanding of it. That's always what's worked for me, and I'm doing all right. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all really soon.